Okay. This is the merge request that is currently open, but let me give to you some dramatic background anyway. Direct Standout is a feature that allows the GPU to display a surface directly on the screen without going through the compositor. This can improve performance and reduce power consumption, especially for full-screen applications like games or videos. However, Direct Standout is not always possible because some surfaces may have transformations applied to them, such as cropping or scaling, that the GPU cannot handle. In such cases, the compositor has to render the surface to an intermediate buffer and then scan out that buffer instead. This merge request implements direct scan out for surfaces that have cropping or scaling applied to them by using the hardware planes of the GPU. Hardware planes are independent layers that can be blended together by the GPU, and each plane can have its own position size format rotation and scaling factor. By assigning a cropped or scaled surface to a hardware plane, we can avoid the intermediate buffer and still use direct scan out. Dude, are you done with the flexing? So essentially, this merge request adds a meta KMS function that assigns a surface to a plane, taking into account the cropping and scaling parameters, and it fallbacks to meta on screen when that's not possible. Okay, so we can test it out, and I would prefer to use MPV from the test clients that were suggested, but it requires the main version which is not easy to build, so I'll go with the backup plan. I'm not sure how I can benchmark this properly, so I run the game several times on different scenarios, and I was observing the FPS, and here are my findings which are everything but scientific. So with the 3177MR enabled, the game was giving a constant average of around 10 to 15 FPS more, on a scale between 150 and 230, with a 250 cap. But at the same time there were sudden frames dropping, often late under 100, that I couldn't reproduce before the patches. Something much more interesting though, is that though the 1377 also improved the performance, noticeably, when I was run the game with the native screen resolution. This means that it also optimized the direct standout process in general, which is super cool. Finally, the performance under Xorg beats everything easily, with the FPS almost constantly hitting the cap of 250, and Wayland can only feel shame about it. I also profiled the gameplay, but these metrics are pretty insecure because it's impossible to reproduce the graphics process in each different run. In any case, before the patches the game was clocking in at 62% CPU, but after the patches it jumped to 72%, but giving a better performance too. Hmm, I guess that my testing didn't give any clear results on real action, which is probably the outcome of the most performances patches when we run them isolated. But including them all together, I would dare to say that GNOME 45 will be the most responsive release ever, which is true for each release anyway. Actually, GNOME has such amazing performance already that I no longer worry about it. I'm only interested in the cool new features and gimmicks, which GNOME may need more development in.